You hear a lot of people talk about sustainable farming these days, and it means different things to different people. Here at the Crave Brothers Dairy Farm just outside of Madison, Wisconsin, they have an extremely sustainable source of electricity. As long as their cows keep eating, they'll have power for the farm. Don't let anyone string you along. The power used to make cheese is more than just a drop in the bucket on a dairy farm. We have a very big electric bill here at the cheese factory and the farm, pumping water, cooling the cows in the summertime with the fans, cooling the milk takes a lot of energy, and then coming over here again to pasteurize the milk, make the mozzarella, cool the mozzarella down. So we use a lot of energy on the farm and the cheese factory. When electricity bills began running more than $6,000 a month, Crave Brothers Dairy decided to take their cattle waste and convert it to green energy. The cows produce the manure. That manure, fermented through the use of enzymes, releases methane gas, which in turn fuels engines that generate electricity. Green energy is produced here. We offset our electric needs for both our farm our cheese factory, and in addition would supply enough for about 300 dairy homes. The waste to energy process takes place in a large machine called a digester that sits on the Crave Brothers property. Well, once we achieved a certain size of the farm and the cheese factory, we thought that this made a lot of sense using our byproducts, using the amount of biosolids we have from the cows and the cheese factory to produce some electricity. The Craves invested about $4 million in the project a partnership with Clear Horizons, a Wisconsin company that specializes in green technology. But electricity isn't the only product the digester provides. It also separates the liquids from the remaining solids in the manure, creating a highly nutritious fertilizer. It's allowed us to be pretty much sustainable from a fertilizer standpoint to where we've basically eliminated commercial fertilizer purchases on our farm. The fertilizer is spread on the crops the Craves grow to feed their cattle. We farm about 2,000 acres where we grow corn and alfalfa and soybeans and wheat. We harvest all those crops, feed them to our 1,000 cow milking herd and the calves and heifers. And then at the end of the day, we milk those cows, bring the milk to the cheese factory where we produce our mozzarella and our mascarpone cheeses. The sustainable process allows the Crave Brothers to focus on a product that Wisconsin is well known for, making cheese from pasteurized milk. It goes into those big vats that hold 25,000 pounds of milk per vat. It's heated up in those vats to about 105 degrees where we add the rennet that coagulates the milk, turns it into a large mass of almost like yogurt, and then it's cut into the cubes of curds and whey. George, tell me what happens on the finishing table. Well, this is where the curds and whey come down out of the cheese vats, and they're, they flow with, with the whey, which is about 90% of the product is the whey, 10% is just the curd, and then that comes down here, and we drain the whey off of the table here with a screen. You see the screen, that, that's a big drain, and then the curd is left over, and then from here we load the curd into the mozzarella cooker that melts it to about 120 degrees where it's very pliable and then we can mold it into the different sizes and shapes of mozzarella that we are, have the orders for. How many different types of products do you make? We make four main cheeses. We make fresh mozzarella, mascarpone cream cheese, part skim mozzarella or queso Oaxaca, and then our farmstead signature cheese, Le Fle Fromage, or French for the brother's cheese. So uh, how many? pounds of cheese do you turn out, say, in a given week or a month? Oh, and well, just let's just say today, we're making uh, about 125,000 pounds of milk. And with the yields we get on the cheese this time of year, we'll maybe get a 10.5% yield. Today, we'll make close to 14 to 15,000 pounds of cheese. We take the milk right from the farm, pump it directly over underground through a pipeline into the vats and through this system. And if there's any misshaped cheese, we can always just go back, throw it back in the cooker, and it melts it down, and we just make another piece out of it. Beauty of mozzarella, right? Right, yeah, it's nice to have that type of product that we could just keep recycling it if we have to. The family's products have won a number of awards, something the brothers hope will inspire the next generation to take over the family business. That's our goal is that they have 
uh, any one of the children, uh, herdsman, crop manager, veterinarian, business person, cheese operator, marketing, there's a lot of opportunity here with, with, that we've created in this family business. And a chance to benefit the environment, one ball of mozzarella at a time. Once in a while, we look back and, and have to pinch ourselves of what we have today and what we've been able to accomplish. And, and it's just always been a what next. You know, it's, it hasn't been any big master plan over 20 years. It's always what are we, what's next? What are we going to try to do in the next two or three years? What do we need to do next week? And that's how we approach our business.